Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Capricorn, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now Capricorn, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Terbo. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you, Capricorn. All right, so first card. Ooh, the world card. Talk about travel. There's something very abundant about to manifest for you. And it's going to happen either before or after your travel. So for example, right now when you go on your travel, this could be a weekend getaway. This could be a dream vacation. You could win some tickets. Someone can gift you some tickets because they can't use them. You're going to get out of your environment. When you get out of your environment, you're changing your energy. When you change your energy, you change your life. And this works like a charm. So the universe is going to bring this opportunity to you because during this time frame, you're going to get some sort of aha moment of clarity which has something to do with your but with your finances because you got the seven of pentacles here now why is this important i'll give you an example like when i first started my amazon businesses when we wanted to launch it would be a very you know stressful time in the beginning and my wife alicia my favorite person in the world she would see me dealing with this resistance so she would come up to me and be like listen we gotta let go on some sort of trip right now whether it's a camping trip or weekend getaway anything because you are efforting and forcing it a fellas no happy wife happy life listen to your queens they're very intuitive when when i would come back from my travels i would have all sorts of insights and clarities and downloads like something that would take me like 12 hours to figure out like my brand colors would take 12 minutes right and that's the energy that i feel from you now look at this six of pentacles seven of pentacles you got the high priestess the strength card temperance this is beautiful right here you also got the two of pentacles the king of cups ace of wands a lot of movement here now here's where the resistance is you got the eight of cups and you got the five of pentacles so your angels are telling you that you got to pivot change course and, and walk away from the feeling of waiting wanting needing and i'll show you exactly how to do that and start commanding assuming and expecting and then everything else will come to fruition now before we start to read capricorn your affirmation for today is I am rich and abundant yes you are quantum entangled with this energy by writing it down in the comment section I am rich and abundant welcome the energy of wealth invite the energy of money let your angels and guides know that you welcome assume command expect money into your life by writing I am rich and abundant in the comment section yes you are it is your birthright to be rich and abundant I am rich and abundant write that down now not only is this travel here for you, but you also have the six and seven of pentacles. This is absolutely amazing. This goes to show that either you have invested in something financially or you are about to, and it is going to pay dividends. Now, it's going to be better than you expected, right? Seven of pentacles is like planting the seed, watching your garden grow. Six of pentacles is about getting more than you expected, more enough that you can even give to charity. So for example, Maybe you invested in your career and you've been waiting for a promotion. Not only is the promotion coming, but on top of that, you're going to get a bonus with it, right? Or maybe you started a business and you're waiting for that business to be successful. Not only is it going to be successful, but it's also going to turn a profit, right? Because again, when you start a business in the beginning, it's difficult to turn a profit. Something big is about to manifest for you. And right now your angels and guides are telling you that in order for this to happen, all you have to do is continue being magnetic. This is the most important important thing you are doing such a good job but continue being magnetic this is your message to you what does that mean when you are magnetic that is the only thing you control I repeat you the only thing you control is being magnetic you do not control who what when where how how am I gonna get rich who am I gonna you know get work with how am I gonna collaborate when is this going to happen zero control same way as this look at this like for example I drop these cards Law of gravity. You cannot control the law of gravity. You can't bend the rules. You just gotta play the win. And that's the same thing here, law of attraction. You don't know how you're going to meet someone. Like there's so many different people I met at coffee shops, grocery shopping, going for a walk that I ended up doing business with because they just like my energy. Why? Because I was magnetic. This is the most important part. When you are magnetic, 
You're letting the universe know, for example, I am open for business. You're very inviting. You're very welcoming. Everyone pivots and, and makes their way towards you. Now, what does that really mean? How do you become magnetic? You are magnetic by controlling your thoughts. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being and your state of being creates your reality. So how you think controls how you feel. How you feel controls your reality. The person who wins in this third dimension is the person who controls their feelings. A lot of times people are feeling scared. Oh my goodness, something bad is gonna happen, I just know it. Therefore, because they control that energy, they get that energy back. That is the last thing you're looking for. Your angels are telling you to leave the familiar past or the predictable future because it's usually depression or anxiety. Bring that energy to the present moment because both those timelines siphon energy away from the present. The present is when you can be confident and I'll show you how to get there. So right now, there's a trick that I love using that immediately makes me magnetic. Any time of the day, anywhere, anytime I'm in a stressful situation or in a lighthearted situation, anytime I'm waiting for something or I'm doing something, it works like a charm and you gotta give credit where credit's due, it's from Neville Goddard. And right now the trick is called three words. Isn't this great? When you're saying, isn't this great? You're taking yourself from a lower frequency and you're bringing yourself to a baseline frequency, maybe even a high vibration, depending how you do it. But when you tell yourself, isn't this great? Then for example, you're going for a walk. Isn't this great? You're working away. Isn't this great? You're painting the wall. Isn't this great? You're not even saying, isn't this great? I'm painting the wall or isn't this great? I'm going for a walk. You don't even need to have the attachment to it. Just the word, isn't this great? When something is great, what is it not? Bad, right? So when something is great, lovely. And then you, all you need to do is feel an energy. You don't need to like think of your desire. When you have that thought of a desire, whether it's from your childhood 10 minutes ago or 10, 10 hours from now, that's out in the quantum field. It will come to you. Now, the only thing is when you say, isn't this great? You're allowing it to come. That's it. But the people don't allow things to come. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you to pivot, change course, walk away from the wanting, needing, who, what, when, where, how, because it's actually taxing you and allow the universe to deliver this beautiful message to you, deliver this manifestation to you by summoning up that inner line within you and instilling a will greater than the programming. Because remember, the programming is going to want to make you feel fear. The programming wants you to be like, when is this gonna happen? Let me over analytical, practical approach to this. You gotta instill a will greater than the programming and tell yourself, I am no longer going to think like that, but instead, I'm gonna just put myself in a base line energy. Isn't this great? It works like a charm. All right, now let me pull your animal spirit. One of my favorite things to do because I love animals. Right now, oh, look at this. Look at the message. Right now, the, the, the animal spirit is squirrel spirit. Look at this, it says believe in yourself. Why is it important for you to believe in yourself? Because when you believe in yourself, others will as well. What does that really mean? When you meet someone, you don't know them. They're a stranger. You're basically saying, hi there, I am Capricorn, I am Team Awesome, and you should either date me or do business with me or be my friend for the following reasons. Now, you need to know the following reasons, such as I am someone positive, confident, happy, exciting. If you don't believe all those things about yourself, why would that stranger possibly want to associate with you? That's the truth, right? But when you know what you bring to the table, that's when things change. And a lot, this is something us and past have to work on. And this is something I struggled with, right? I didn't know my worth. I was always too humble. I was too humble, right? So you gotta understand that you gotta know your worth. Like I right now don't need to be in the same room to quantum entangle with your energy and know that you're a beautiful soul. You don't have a bad bone in your body and anyone will be blessed to be in your energy. I can feel your energy from here. If I know your worth, you you gotta know your worth, right? Right now, own it, wear the crown. You are a beautiful person inside and out. Beauty is, in, beauty is in energy. Know what you bring to the table. Anyone would be lucky to be graced by your energy. All right, Capricorn, final message from your spirit guide to love this message. Look at this ripple effect. The message is amplify your positive emotions. Why? Because your emotions are your GPS. It's literally your emotional guiding system and it will bring what you're looking for. So right now, the message is, there's a ripple effect of energy flowing from you. Be positive, simply staying happy and sending that happiness out from your heart will benefit those around you. As you adjust your motives and attitudes, the energy flows from you in concentric circles, affecting all of your desires. What does this really mean? Like attracts like law of attraction. Every time you have a thought, 
do, 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 do. It gets sent out to the field. So whenever you have a feeling, a thought, it doesn't just disappear. The only reason we think it disappears is because your eyes don't pick up gamma, right? The light spectrum. If it did, you would actually see white light. But imagine you have a thought, it's right there. Now this thought is looking for do, 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 like thoughts. So when you feel something like, ah, I am rich and abundant, do, 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 it's coming to you. But when you think of something like, I will never be rich, do, 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 that's coming as well. So right now, focus and control your thoughts which control your feelings and therefore you will control your life. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.